Hello, my beautiful duckling, because your friendly grub here, and I'm back in the with Steven Universe Vlog. Now, uh, today's episode is Steven and the Stevens. Um, and in this episode, uh, well, first a little, first a little backstory first. Um, when Rebecca Sugar was pitching the pilot of uh, Steven Universe to Cartoon Network, it was like a five, six minute short, uh, and Steven... Uh, gets this thing from Amethyst that, you know, it's a little it's a little circle with an hourglass inside. And when he says, you know, I want to go back and, you know, get some donuts, um, he goes back in time and that happens. Uh, and if you, and if you, you know, if you watch, like, pilots of shows before they're, before they're, like, you know, actual shows, you know that, like, there are usually, there's usually, like, one or two episodes that, like, they took the pilot and they just made it into the, uh, just made it into the show, like Gravity Falls is a good example, um, and this is pretty much the same thing as the pilot, except, uh, well, let me, let me just, let me just tell you the story, so Steven and the Gems are at this really nicely designed, um, uh, Super Mario Galaxy temple, and they're trying to find all the little phantom hourglasses that can satisfy all the Nintendo references I just made, but no, uh, that can, um, I don't, I don't remember what they were, they were doing it for, you know, plot or something. And so, uh, Amethyst picks up the wrong one, uh, she picks up the wrong one and the temple starts to collapse. So Steven, seeing how Amethyst gets a free, you know, hourglass thinks, you know, I can get one too, it's, it's a good idea, let's do that. So he takes it, uh, he takes the little circle one, uh, from the pilot and he brings it home with him. And so, you know, all's well and good, but um, later that night, he has this thing called the Beach of Palooza that's going on, which, if you go back and watch the episode, when he first says Beach of Palooza, it does not sound like Beach of Palooza. It sounds like, you know what it sounds like. He, like, the way he says it, he says it, like, super fast, and, like, when I first heard it, I'm like, what, what, did he say beach? I think he said beach. But, um, I digress, uh... So he has the beach palooza, and he's going to be in a band with his dad, but he goes down to the uh, car wash, and his dad, you know, he's having some troubles there with the big old boat, and he, um, so he can't do the, uh, he can't do the band thing with Steven. So Steven thinks, uh, Steven's holding the thing, he's like, I wonder, I wish I could go back in time and tell him to stop, and so he does go back in time, because, you know, he says it, and he holds the thing, which he calls the thing, just like in the pilot, um... And so he goes back in time, and he tells his dad not to, uh, which results in, you know, I don't remember what it is. I think he hits a telephone pole, and the entire car wash sets on fire. And so that's the Steven in that reality. This is gonna be this is gonna be a hard to follow episode. So the Steven in that reality goes back to a different reality where the reality where the car wash sets on fire hasn't hasn't happened yet, and. So, this is really hard to explain. Um, and so, he stops the Steven from the... Okay, Steven, let's just say how they do it in the episode. Steven 1 is the Steven that is from the reality where the car wash went on fire. Steven 2 is from the reality where the car wash isn't on fire yet. So, Steven 1 stops Steven 2 from the inevitable future that it's just going to set the uh, place on fire. Uh, and, and then they go back to find Steven 3 so they can stop him from, you know, even going there in the first place to try and help his dad. And doing that, they think, hey, we can form a band. I mean, there's enough Stevens to form a band. So they go back and they make another Steven just so they can have him in the band too. And they, you know, they start to rock out, you know, some real, real fun stuff. And, uh... But uh, um, but eventually, you know, there's there's conflict with the Stevens and the Stevens the, the Stevensons. I don't I don't really know how to what to call them. Um, there's conflict with all the Stevens, and so the original Steven, Steven one, uh, he goes back and okay, it's it's a really confusing episode. I'm just gonna say it. It's really confusing how they do the time travel thing. Like, it's, well, okay, it's not that confusing. Like, you take a little, take a thing, you're like, I want to go back to, um, yesterday. And he just goes back to yesterday. But the thing is with the pilot, when he went back to, say, yesterday, 
he would he would have all the memory that he had the day before, but he'd be in the place that he was yesterday. In this one, there's multiple, which um, isn't really a bad idea. I mean, of course, you know, it's what would happen if you went back in time. But it's just, it's, it, gets, it gets really confusing. So a whole bunch of conflict happens. Steven, um, the original Steven is kicked out of the band. So he, so he goes back to the Water Temple. And, oh, that was another Nintendo reference, wasn't it? Eh, Nintendo or Minecraft, you could take it either way. So, he goes back to the Water Temple, and he stops the original Steven from taking the hourglass in the first place. But, oh, no, no, before that, there is, this is really confusing. This, this vlog is like the, is like the episode, like the time travel part. It's just going back and forth. So, so before he goes to the Water Temple, there's a scene... There's actually some really funny scenes where they go back to previous episodes and the events in the episode, like, you know, the, uh, um, the first episode, which I can't remember what it's called. Ugh, I'm a failure. Anyway, whatever, you remember the first episode, he gets the cookie cat machine, it's all happy and all that. Anyway, he goes back to the first episode, turns out that the reason that, the, that Steven puked in the end is because... Well, one, because he was sick from eating all the cookie cats. But a funnier joke is that he sees all the alternate realities of him beating each other up. And he's like, oh, blah. And then he goes back to Rose's room at one part. And there's one part they just kind of are at a boat place, but whatever. And um, so then they go to the water temple. And Stephen 1 stops the Stephen that is about to get the hourglass and create this madness in the first place to stop. And then all the Stevens from all the other <laughs> dimensions um, go there, and oh god, um, and they they fight, and um, I, I'm not even through the plot yet. This is seven minutes long. They fight. Steven says, "Don't fight, guys," and that's it. They they all get destroyed except for the original Steven, and the band is eventually just Steven and the gems rocking out. Ah. <sighs> Okay, yeah, okay, what I think about the episode, well, if I didn't make it clear in the seven-minute explanation, um, this is a very confusing episode. Like, the timeline, it gets, it's pretty confusing. They do a good job at keeping it, keeping it simple in the episode, but if you were to tell your friend, like, if, you know, the way I'm explaining it to you, it's very confusing, and there is one part where they try to start like Stephen 1, Stephen 3, they write their numbers on their cheeks. And first comment, Stephen, the original Stephen, you can tell it's him because he has a little, little Elvis kind of afro. Elvis didn't have hair like that, whatever. What did Elvis have hair like? I have him up here. Yeah, he has, he has, you know, this kind of afro, like kind of goes up a little bit, but you know, it's a little more cartoonish. Um, and so, uh, he, there's a scene where he just starts yelling at the other Stevens, that's a little out of character, but he has yelled when he gets really angry in other episodes, that's understandable, like, come on, you get really angry, everybody yells. Anyway, um, but that scene where they're just, like, trying to, trying to find out which one is which, that's a really confusing scene. Besides that, the rest of the episode is pretty well, like, pretty well paced, you know, you know what's going on. The only confusing thing is all the Stevens that come in at the end and have that big fight. Uh, but that's really the only negative thing I can say about this episode. It's actually pretty good. I mean, pretty much every TV show that I can think of besides, like, Adventure Time... Yeah, pretty much only Adventure Time has had that episode about time travel, going back to the future, and going to the... going future to the back, all that fun stuff, Marty McFly, Rick and Morty, and... You know, creating alternate timelines, creating a whole bunch of stuff. In the end, it all gets cleared up. I probably know why it hasn't happened in Adventure Time, but I'm not going to say it for spoilers. Uh, this is a still a nine-minute-long video. I have not gotten to the point yet. Uh, so, you know, it was, it was kind of inevitable that they'd do it in the end anyway, like, you know, the whole time travel thing. Um, besides that, as I said before, the Water Temple is really, really, really beautiful. Like, the design's really nice. It has nice colors. Um, when Steven and the other Stevens are performing with each other, they harmonize really nice, and so do the gems, and that is all I'm going to say, because I don't want this to be like a 15 minute video.
there's really nothing else to talk about, actually. So, you know, this is a good time to wrap it up. So I will see you guys next week with another Steven Universe vlog. Why don't you go tickle that subscribe button with your chin? Chicka chicka. Dang it. No. Oh.